to a very wet Farnham and the start of the North Downs Way. So the North Downs Way isn't one of the most attractive of trails to walk for many. It won't even feature on many people's list of places to walk if you live in the north of the country or somewhere. But for me it's only about two hours from any point on this trail. The train line runs pretty much parallel the whole length of it. So it makes it an easy one for me to do on day hikes. I may wild camp some of it but it's unlikely because it never really strays that far from houses. You might be out here the road next to me, it starts on a major junction which is why I've started this video on the trail rather than from the very beginning. Just passed one random goat on the trail. I think he may have got out of his field somewhere. Some of these trails are actually quite sandy. I've not watched too many videos on the, on the North Downs Way. I usually watch a lot, but uh, there aren't that many on the North Downs Way, which is uh, kind of reflects how popular it is really. Thought I was heading the wrong way for a while here, but I remember that uh, steam engine from a couple of other people's videos. I guess that's sometimes why it's good having a little bit of knowledge before you come on trail because you do worry about missing the signs. I found my first farm field to walk down. You can see it there. Kind of, <laughs> kind of the bane of my life when it comes to long distance walking. I just feel them sucking all the life out of me walking through endless farm fields, but this is the first one. I think it must be about three miles in. Give me woodlands, nature reserves, coastal walks. <sighs> Even a bit of road walking from time to time to pick up speed and get some miles done quickly, but when you get endless farm fields, I just get so bored of them. So just come out of that farm field there. We've got a sign saying that way, but nothing saying where to go this way. I'm going to assume it's over here and have a look. Oh, no, can we see something there? I think I can see a stile to my right. Oh, here we go. Would have been nice to have a sign to let me know, though. Can't complain, it's been pretty well marked so far. Oh yeah, look at this. <laughs> Someone's, uh, the way this tree's been shaped, someone's like put a number and a, a door on it. Oh, there's a little uh, fairy door as well. That's quality. <laughs> Back in the woods again. I'm not sure how far I am I am right now, probably a third of the way from Farnham to Guildford. And it's the first real sort of view I've had that's just opened up and uh, of the hills, but I haven't actually walked up a hill yet. It's all been really very flat. It's been quite enjoyable. But uh, I know there'll be uh, some big hills to come. It is the North Downs after all, but uh, it looks like there's some sort of campsite down there. There's a couple of motorhomes and a tent. This is the uh, Hampton Estate, from the look of things. So back there, that was actually a campsite. So if you've got a late start after work, it's about, I don't know how many miles in. But I've probably been walking for an hour, hour and a half. But right next to it, there's a lovely pine forest. That'd be great for a little hammock night, hammock camp. So as you come through the Hampton Estate, you end up in Putnam Village. The signs seem to dry up a little bit, but you do just walk straight through the village. There's a little pub there. I thought I'd better check it out for you. It's quite nice. Um, but you go to the end of Putnam Village, come to the T-junction, turn right. There's another pub called the Jolly something. You immediately turn left there, um, come through Putnam Golf Course, which is where I'm at now. I think I'm on the uh, just over halfway between Farnham and Guildford now and it's been a pleasant walk I've quite enjoyed it so far 
Uh, look, quite a bit of road walking. Only one big field to walk across, but it's all been uh, woodland walking, so it's been quite enjoyable. Just coming up to a couple of crosses on the bridge there. I think this has something to do with it being the Pilgrim's Way as well. Just passing the Watt Gallery here. Probably one of the few times on trail I've got the time and the energy and a small enough pack to go and look at something, but uh, there you go, I'm a Philistine. Art's oh, not really my thing. I think I'm pretty much coming into the outskirts of Guildford now, so that'll be the end of today's little wander. I've got to say I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it more than I thought I would. It's been very flat on the whole, a couple of little inclines, but nothing really. Um, I think the hills start from Guildford onwards. Um, but I will pick this up when and whenever. I'm in no real hurry to complete this trail. Um, and once I've got a bit of footage, I will just upload them as and when. But that would be me signing off from Guildford for today and I'll pick this up maybe in a couple of days time.